Hello everyone! Are you ready to learn? Let's begin! Let's have a quick review about mixture. Can you identify whether the following mixture is a solution, suspension, or colloid? We have coffee drink. Yes, it's a solution. How about mayonnaise? Very good, it's a colloid. How about mixture of vinegar and cooking oil? Correct, it's a suspension. How about mixture of flour and water? You're right, it's a suspension. How about gelatin? Yes, gelatin is a colloid. Today, our topic is all about ways of separating mixture. There are different ways in separating mixture. We have the following. Decantation, evaporation, filtration, magnetism or using magnets, sieving, flotation, distillation, physical separation or hand picking, winnowing, and chromatography. Let us first discuss what decantation is. Decantation is a technique used in separating heterogeneous mixtures made up of solid and liquid or two liquids with different density. In the process of decantation, the mixture is left undistributed. Here is an example of a mixture that can be separated through decantation mixture of sand and water. Once the sand settles at the bottom of the container, you can easily separate water by powering to the other container. Another example that can be separated through decantation is a mixture of oil and water. Because they have different density, oil can be separated by scooping using a spoon. Another way of separating mixture is what we call evaporation. It is the process in which a liquid changes into gaseous form on heating, allowing the liquid to evaporate, leaving the soluble solid behind. This method also produces salt by evaporating seawater under the sun. When a salt solution is heated, water evaporates and turns into gas or what we call water vapor, and salt remains in the container. The remaining residue is the solute. Grains of salt remains in the container as the liquid evaporates. Remember that in evaporation, only the solute is recovered, not the solvent. Another technique to separate mixture is what we call filtration. Filtration is used to separate insoluble solid from a liquid. It uses a filter like mess cloth or filter paper. Look at this illustration. A mixture of liquid and tiny particles of solid which had not been dissolved can be separated through filtration. A filter paper is used to separate the suspended particles from the liquid. It has a tiny pores that allow the liquid part of the mixture to pass through it. The solid particles that are left behind are called residue, while the liquid that passes through the filter paper is called filtrate. A clean piece of cloth can also be used if the filter paper is not available. Magnetism or separating mixture using magnets. It is used to separate metals and non-metals using magnets. Metals are attracted to the magnet and non-metals are not. One example of a mixture that can be separated using magnet is a mixture of sand and iron fillings. When iron fillings are mixed with sand, 
they form a mixture but they keep their original properties. The iron remains magnetic while the sun stays non-magnetic. Looking at the mixture, it is pretty visible that the dark brown iron speckles the yellow sand. When a piece of magnet is placed over the mixture and move about, the iron fillings are attracted to the magnet, leaving the sound on the disc. Have you seen the same scenario in your community or in a construction site? This picture shows us another way of separating mixture known as sieving or sifting. It is a method used in separating mixture with big and fine particles using a strainer or a big screen. Here are some examples of mixture that can be separated through sieving. Separating the sand from gravel through sifting. The strainer allows only the fine particles through it and prevents the larger ones. The sieving technique is used in separating fine sand from rocks in the mixture of gravel and sand. And of course, separating large size of flour using a strainer. We have winnowing. It is the method in which heavier components of the mixture are separated from the lighter substances with the help of the wind. And the instrument used in winnowing is what we call winnower. Another way of separating mixture is known as flotation. It works for the things that are less dense than another substance, like leaves that would float in water. When it happens that the water you are about to use in washing your hands has floating particles like leaves, you can easily separate the particles because they are floating. When you are washing the rice that you are about to cook, there are smaller particles of rice bran floating in the water. You can easily separate the floating particles. We have distillation. Distillation is the process of separating liquids from a solution. The separation technique is based on the differences of the boiling point of the substances in the mixture. In distillation, a mixture is heated. The substance with the lowest boiling point boils to vapor and condenses to liquid. It is collected as distilled water. Most homogeneous solution can be separated by distillation. Another technique is what we call physical separation or hand picking. It is a technique used in separating solid components of heterogeneous mixture. The components of a mixture should be big enough to be seen and picked by the hands or forcep. When you separate nuts, in a mixed nuts, you can separate the components through physical manipulation or by the use of your hands. Last technique is what we call chromatography. It is a technique that separates the components of mixture that are based on the ability of each component to drone across a surface of another material. During the separation, the various components or materials spread in different speed. Chromatography is good in separating dissolved substances that have different colors, such as ink and plant dyes. Chromatography works in separating dyes because some of the colored substances dissolve in liquid better than others, so they travel further up the paper. Now, can you identify the different ways or techniques in separating mixture? Very good! Let's go! We have decantation, evaporation, filtration, magnetism or using magnets, sieving, flotation, distillation, physical separation or hand picking, winnowing, and chromatography. 
Now, let's find out if you learned something from our discussion. Let's have a quiz. Direction. Identify the way of separating mixture in each description. You have 5 seconds to answer each question. Number 1. Use to separate mixture with big and fine particles using a strainer. Go! The correct answer is sieving. Correct. Number 2. A technique in which mixture of metals and non-metals could be separated using magnet. Go! The correct answer is magnetism or using magnets. Next, a technique used in separating a soluble solid from a liquid through a heating process. Timer starts now. The answer is very good, evaporation. We have number 4, a technique used in separating the solid components of a heterogeneous mixture with the help of the hand. Timer starts now. The correct answer is correct, hand picking. And last one. It is the process of separating heavier objects from the lighter one with the help of the wind. Go! The correct answer is... Yes! We know it! Very good! That's all for today. I hope you've learned something new. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye!